In this video, I will be demonstrating the I.O. connection options available in machine builder libraries. While instantiating a machine library object in application code manager, the object input and output parameters can be referenced to an analog digital channel or an I.O. module. For the demo, I have opened application code manager. I have already registered the machine library in ACM. You need to download the machine library from Rockwell Automation product compatibility and download center page. I have a new project created and added a controller and display. I have also added a program in which we will add the library objects. I have also added analog channel object, digital channel object and IO module for demonstrating different IO connection options. I will demonstrate the IO connection options by instantiating sealer temperature control library object. To add, right click on the program and click add new. In the filter, enter sealer. Select the sealer temp implement object and click next. I will name the object as sealer temp channel. Leave the routine name and tag name as it is. Here in the IO connection group, we have two parameters. First, the heater control output and the second process variable input. Click on the browse button to open the reference window. The heater control output is set to filter digital channel and digital output modules. You can select the connection from these options or browse the project content from this pane. For this object, I will connect to digital channel which is already added in the project. Select the digital channel and input data reference as we want to connect the heater control output to the input of digital channel. Click finish. Next click browse on the process variable input parameter. Here you can see this parameter is set to filter the analog channel and analog input modules. I will select the analog channel and out data as we want to connect the analog channel output to the process variable input. Click finish. Select the display where the navigation object will be placed. Click next. In the link library tab, click auto create to create the link libraries. Click finish to complete the instantiation. Next, I will show the I.O. connection options for input and output modules. I will add the sealer temperature control object. I will name the object as sealer temp I.O. For the heater control output, select the output from digital output module. Select channel 0 and address reference and click finish. For the process variable, select the analog input module. Channel 0 and address reference. Click finish. Select the navigation display. Click next. The link library are already created from the previous object. So click finish. The last option to be demonstrated is when no IO connection is required. I'll add another instance of sealer temperature control object. Name the object as sealer temp none. We'll leave the I.O. connections as empty. Select the navigation display. Complete the instantiation. So now we have added three objects, one with channel connections, the other with I.O. connections and the third with no connections. You can also mix and match I.O. connection type like one parameter as channel and the other as I.O. module or just select one parameter and leave the other one empty. I will show how each of these IO connection options look in the generated logix file. To understand further about generating the code and display, watch the basics of ACM workflow video series.
I have opened the logix file generated from the ACM project. First I will open the sealer temp channel routine. You can see the process variable input is mapped to the analog channel out data. The heater control output is mapped to the digital channel input data. Next I will open the sealer temp IO routine. Here you can see the process variable input is mapped to the channel 0 data of analog input module and heater control output is mapped to the 0th output of digital output module. Next I will open the sealer temp none routine. Since we didn't select any connection, so there are no additional rungs for mapping logic. For more information, download machine builder libraries from Rockwell Automation website. Thanks for watching the video.